Listen, the world is just too crazy right now to not be growing your own food. Start a vegetable garden. <laughs> So I'm headed out to go to the grocery store. Living in Japan as a foreigner is a very different experience. I have so many friends who like absolutely love living in Japan, but they just, they couldn't do it. They couldn't hack it and had to go home. But one thing I have noticed about foreigners who have been here for a long time is they found a way to make like the differences work for them. I've been here seven going on eight years. I absolutely love it here, but there have been a lot of things that I had to get used to. For example, it's raining. I'm from California, okay? We had to learn about what rain is in the history books and I'm walking, we drive everywhere. I actually do prefer walking. I really like walking around. However, in the rain, I don't like it. I don't like it. It's not for me. One thing that I just could not get used to and had to fix was this whole grocery store debacle. Also, obviously, Japan is a completely different country from America and they don't have a lot of the fruits and vegetables that I'm used to. And if they do, they are extremely expensive. I think a lot of people have seen all of those like crazy photos of outrageously expensive fruits in Japan. It's not, it's not a joke. It's real. Not to mention they don't have a lot of the ones that I'm used to like beef steak, tomato, kale, jalapenos. So I had to find a workaround and my workaround was starting a vegetable garden. And in one of my last videos, I asked you guys if you guys were interested in learning a little bit more about the vegetable garden. Very surprised to see so many of you guys interested in this topic. So in this video, I'm gonna be like sharing my whole journey of starting my balcony garden here at my new place because I just moved and uh, I had to set up the vegetable garden from scratch pretty much. There are like a million different reasons why I started vegetable gardening. But gardening is something I have always been interested in. Like no lie, in high school, I was in the Future Farmers of America Club. I know. Then I graduated, became a model, and now I'm in Japan. But we're back to farming, okay? We're back. I've actually been documenting my entire vegetable gardening journey here in Japan and I have so much footage, but I never really shared that side of my life on my YouTube channel. I'm so grateful for my wonderful subscribers. You guys are amazing and thank you so much for all the positivity, love, and support. Aha. I do have a career outside of YouTube and a lot of other little jobs that I do, not to mention I am sick. So thank you for making creating videos on this platform enjoyable. YouTube is a very complex platform and I just thought a lot of you guys might find vegetable gardening kind of boring and I never want to bore you guys. Ash is here doing some work. I'm gonna make him take home some tomato seedlings and some lettuce. It's gonna be uh, interesting to see whose grows better. Fine. What? Why don't you um, pick yours out yourself? Tomato plant. I don't need no tomatoes. Said no one never. Okay, you know the, the reason why all the beginner farmers like tomatoes? Because they grow quickly. No, because they're one of the few plants that you can bury the stem and it will make roots. Pluck these little leaves off right here. Mm -hmm. And you want to bury it all the way up to here in new soil. Okay. In case you wanted to learn a little bit more than this video can offer, I created a free beginner vegetable gardening guide over on Squarespace, the sponsor of today's video. I was able to put this together for you guys in just a few hours. Squarespace makes everything so easy. It's an all-in-one platform you can use to create a variety of things like a website, a store, a blog, or even a podcast. They have countless features which help you to do all kinds of things, like create a fully automated landing page, as I did today. They have 24-7 customer service and so many beautiful templates to choose from. If you're interested in the gardening guide, just enter in your email address and you'll be able to download it for free. And if you're interested in creating a website with Squarespace, head over to squarespace.com and sign up for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash sundaylove. You can save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. So, um, my beefsteak tomato seeds that I got from America were about to expire, so I had to plant all of them, and I was not expecting any of them to germinate. All of them germinated. So now I have, um, I don't know, like 30. That's enough for a whole farm. I don't have enough space. So I'm basically trying to give these things away. Also, I ordered some lettuce online. I thought it was just one, but I guess one was like a pack. You can't eat that much lettuce either, so yeah. Come pick one. One? This friend? Of course you picked the biggest one. And this friend. Okay. Cannot plant them together. How far apart? I'm putting them in the ground. Are you gonna put them in the ground? Yeah. Ooh, that's a bad idea. Okay, I'll get a bucket. And on my
There's too many bugs. They love tomatoes. Well, oh yes. So I got this box of like dick tiles. This tiny area is a wet box and they're not very cheap. Um... <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> We're gonna have to think of something cheaper. I think one box was like 50 bucks, but that would mean like 50. Ooh, another, that's a hundred. 200, 300. I'm guessing at least four to 500. That's wild, right, Ducci? That's insane. We ain't got that kind of money. Oh, you look so good on it. Oh, Ducci, it matches. You look great. Maybe it's worth it. Anyways, I actually need to clean this first. I gotta take this all up. I just wanted to see what it would look like and also if I would need more boxes, but clearly I'm gonna need more boxes. I really wanna cover this balcony with something pretty. We legit had snow the other day. My entire garden setup is not really established yet. I need more time. Finally made like half of one planter box. I just had to like hurry up and get something out there because my plants were dying in the frost. I'm just gonna put a little frost blanket on top of this. I just wanna make something really quick. I have some of them in the house, but the house is turning into a jungle. Yeah. We don't need no more in the house. So yeah, I got this thing to help them stay a little bit warmer outside. It said it's gonna snow again today. It's actually supposed to start raining in like an hour. So I'm gonna try and hurry up and get this thing set up. Oh, it's a million pieces. No. Dang, that's a lot of pieces. Yo, tell me why these instructions are literally just your imagination. We don't even have a step one. Oh my, this is not gonna go well. Six and a half hours later. All right, all done. It actually wasn't difficult to put together at all once you realize there's just like the same three pieces over and over again. I'm excited. I was really needing a new plant shelf and now I have one for outside. I don't have to clutter up my living room with a bunch of seedlings. All right, this is supposed to be a little door. Gee, the rain's coming. Shoot, these plants gonna die. All finished. My first little mini greenhouse. fits perfectly. I was really hoping to get rid of this toe-up sink and install a nice one, but it's all hooked up and rusted and I don't have the tools for that right now, so I guess it's just gonna stay there. Eventually, I'm gonna have a nice little sink right here. I'm so glad that fit. This side of the house is a little bit more exposed, so I did want to put something tall right here. All right, now I just gotta figure out which plants to put inside of here. Lettuce. Red Russian kale. A lot more kale.
I'm all done. Somehow managed to fit most of it. This thing is amazing. Then off of Amazon. Yo, I'm trying to be healthy as heck this spring and summer. And honestly, the easiest way to do that is to walk right outside of your balcony and pick fresh food. Y'all don't understand how much kale costs over here. And zucchinis, oh my gosh. Just like at the other house, I'm gonna try my best to grow literally everything I possibly can. It is such a money saver. Not to mention fresh, organic. You know what you're eating? It's very convenient. All right, just started. Oh my God. Like it needs lotion. That don't make no sense. Ashy old planter box. Alright, if you follow my Instagram, you would have been seeing this two week long battle with a mouse on my balcony. He's been eating all of my kale and destroying my life. It has been a very long, ongoing battle. Like a real battle. <sighs> Somebody left some turds. Whose turds are these? It kind of looked like a mouse turd, but I'm not sure. Other than the turds, my radishes that were sprouting, someone's been nibbling on them. Yo, wait, look at this. Somebody took a bite out of all my seedlings. Yo, somebody out here dining, dumping, dashing, stepping on my radish. What is it? happening. This must be a safe place. You know, second floor. It's not safe. Buy a greenhouse to keep the plant safe. I left it a little bit cracked just so y'all can get some air. Y'all ain't getting no air. Ain't nobody breathing tonight. We zipping it all the way up. Did you? <coughs> Do your job. Douglas, get your friends. Carla has found that peppermint keeps the strange creatures away. So we are now planting peppermint. <laughs> Let's hope this works. Fingers crossed. It's time to fight. I was trying to be nice and plant mint. No, the traps, the poison, bring it on. Guys, look, I'm I'm hot. This is red Russian kale. They don't even have this here. I had to get this from America and I've been growing it for months. This Negro done came up in my crib. He just tore it. He just, where did, I am so lost. And then left another turd. I don't think he was mad because I closed this up and now he can't get in there. Just kidding. Are you serious right now? Like at least eat it. You just broke them. I don't know who you are, but you done came up in the wrong crib and it's war. On site, catch me outside. You are outside, so I'm gonna catch you outside. How about that? It's 5 a.m. sleeping like really close to the door. I found him, it is a mouse. I saw him, dude, she wants to get him. I don't know where he went. I just feel like the devil's like, this chick's life is too peaceful. She needs some chaos. chaos. If she's not gonna go to the trouble, we're gonna bring it to her. Bam, a mouse on the balcony. I would be fine if he was just nibbling on some stuff, but he's been destroying all of my plants. He's been eating like the center out of every plant, which will just completely destroy it. So these are like kale. He's supposed to like pick the outer leaves off, leave the inner and it'll keep growing. No, he goes straight for the core. Doesn't even eat it, just cuts it off. Any seeds I have, he digs them up. It's like he 
doesn't want me to have a garden. He's also been snipping plants right at the base. So I keep replanting them and he keeps completely demolishing them. This is months. That's one thing I never do when I started gardening, like how many months it takes. Yo, I've been growing this kale since my other house. Tomato plant, other house. <laughs> but yeah, I've tried everything. I tried herbs, I tried mint, I tried peppermint oil. Thanks for all of your messages, guys. I know y'all are so invested in this rat race. I did get your um messages about peppermint oil. I drowned the whole balcony in peppermint. It smelled like a black lady purse at church in this mug. He's still out there, it's spice to him. I wish he would just leave. Like, hey, I'd like you to go so we don't have to get to this point because I'm about ready to put these pellets out there. Uh, I tried giving him some food, like some, some Douglas food and kitty food. Nope, he still wanted to chew on my kale. I think he's vegan. A rat food, gonna mix in some cat food. I'm making a poison pound cake. All right, so I went to go replant this and I started digging. Y'all, he didn't eat the poison. It's on. I have a feeling we won't be seeing him again tonight, I hope. I think Tucci found him. Go get him, Tucci. Go get him. Also, when it comes to hunting, Tucci's is like a black girl in the club. You know how, like, they be chilling and then your friends hype you up, like, rah, rah, rah. She's like a black girl. I'm like, get him. Get him. And she gets so excited. Many months later. I'm trying to live a peaceful life here. Why I come out here minding my own business? I planted this yesterday. And he did it again disrespectfully, eating the core out so that the plant is absolutely useless. There's plenty of kale around here. We got curly, we got dino. Why does he only attack the red Russian kale? I can't even get this in Japan. <laughs> The next day. So y'all remember the day in cat grass I planted yesterday for my cat? I come over here and I'm like, why does it look strange? It look all defuffled. He ate all the seeds. He's like, oh, I'm not gonna eat your cat food, psych. I'll eat your cat food. He's listening. Gucci, you gonna let him disrespect you like that? Oh, see how she walk off? She mad. I don't know what's on his balcony, but it ain't of this earth. I don't need a mousetrap. I need an exorcism. I tried different mouse traps that would just trap him and I could release him somewhere else. Nope. I'm supposed to put some kind of food at the end of this. And I got the perfect stuff, smoked cheese. Why did I buy two? I don't know, just in case one doesn't work. I don't have time for this anymore. Like, what time is it? It's 10 o'clock on a Friday night. This is not how I'm supposed to be spending my Friday nights. Ugh. Peanut butter's over there. It's peanut butter on the part that he's not even supposed to be able to get out of. So he got him some peanut butter and dipped. Traps don't work. Poison don't work. He didn't touch the cheese. He's clearly vegan because all he eats is kale. He didn't just dig up the seed, y'all. He done snapped the other pea plant. Like this thing is done. He just snapped. He don't even eat it. He just breaks it off. I tried covering stuff. I tried to cover whatever I could. Got some cloth. More poison. More cloth. I put a little cage over like the new seeds that I just planted so he can't dig them up. The next day. I don't know what kind of animal this is. It's just way too smart. So he dug around it instead and still got to the seed that I put in a cage. Ducci didn't even find him. One eternity later. This Debro, he done came up here and ate up everything. All right, he ate more poison and still managed to eat eight kale plants, eight. I'm going to the sticky mouse traps. I wasn't gonna mess with them because I don't like to see people suffer. I, I can't kill animals, but this I'm gonna enjoy. I'm gonna get some popcorn and I'm gonna watch him on this sticky paper. My last red Russian. Recently, I've just been bringing the plants inside. I really didn't want to do this, but like he sent me back at least four hours every single day, replanting and cleaning and I ain't got time for this. So I moved them inside. That one I can't bring inside, obviously. And last night he attacked that one and that's the last straw. Listen, God, I done tried the spray. I tried the herbs. I tried the trap. I tried the poison. I, look, I tried to do things the nice way. It's time for sticky paper. Cause if he get over here, you know, to my full grown kale, my beautiful side. Oh, he's on. Like he been eating up all the seedlings and stuff that's growing. If he even take one nipple, it's over. All right, I warmed him. It's sticky paper time. So, um, I think we're gonna move on to sticky paper. I'm not really sure yet, but he gotta go. We found him, huh, Ducci? But Ducci couldn't get to him. It's the little devil. Bruh. Ducci, he's there. Girl, get him. He's cute as heck, too. 
Dude, you get him. You can't let him get away. He gonna keep ruining our lives. He ate your cat grass girl twice. Right. I plugged up his escape with paper. Oh, he's too big. Suck it in. You can do it. Put your back into it. Literally. Put your back in there. <sighs> All right. He jumped. So I'm trying to make like a raised bed so I can get some of the stuff off the ground and then it'll be easier to cover. But I ran out of nails and wood. <laughs> So we stopped there. I did buy this raised garden bed in a hurry. I'm gonna set this up and see what it looks like. I just need anything. I feel like overnight, it's gonna be the end of the rest of my kill plants. Well then, but it's a lot smaller than I uh, thought. I don't know what's gonna fit in here. Nothing fits. I'm gonna have to get uh, planters that can actually fit in there because nothing I have right now is gonna fit in there. But for now, at least it's off the ground and I put it next to the window so I can watch it. Uh, this thing is destroying my life. Alrighty, I am all done. He's played this game before, I haven't, I'm losing. And he's winning, he's up 10. I'm getting sick and tired of moving all of these plants inside the house at night. Like they're not supposed to be in the house. It's a garden, it's supposed to be outside. It's getting dark, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and stain these right now. The sun is like so beautiful. Today is a gardening day. We got some bark compost, some potting soil, peat moss, perlite, and some organic fertilizer. I'm gonna plant some of these second rounds of kales. They've been growing so well. This was the first round. Looking beautiful. This is the second round. So once I've eaten all of this, I'll have some right afterwards. Yeah, I'm running out of space. <laughs> You do not need a whole bunch of stuff to plant some vegetables. Like with everything in life, there's an easy way and a more complicated way. If you're planting in containers, all you need is a good quality potting mix and you're pretty much good to go. However, keep in mind, unlike plants that are growing in the ground, the roots can't branch out and look for nutrients. So whatever you put in this pot is all they got. Would you call this a pot? There is one thing I highly recommend you get and I also think you will need for like heavier feeding crops like kale and zucchini, and that is compost. I recommend mixing in 30% compost with your potting soil. You can buy it at the store or you can make it yourself, but if you make it yourself, it takes quite a while. The new city I live in has this amazing program where they give residents free compost every week, so I stopped making my own, but there are a couple of kitchen scraps that I feel would be a waste to just throw away, so I do collect coffee grounds from the pod machine, eggshells, and the ridiculous amount of paper that comes in the Amazon packaging. And I forgot to show it, but I also add in some dried banana peels. Again, you do not have to do anything fancy. However, every plant is different and tailoring the soil mixture to each plant's needs will really help your results. For example, perlite is a great thing to add if the plant likes well-drained soil. So I just make this compost cocktail at the bottom of my pots to help the plant later on down the way, get some extra nutrients, and also cut down on all of my kitchen waste. <laughs> Planting seedlings into their forever home is definitely my favorite part of vegetable gardening. Make sure you start off with clean, damp soil. You don't want to put it in there if it's dry. Bruh. I absolutely love gardening in containers. There really is no limitations and grow bags happen to be my favorite. They're super lightweight, allow for really great airflow and water drainage. You can wash them, reuse them, fold them up. They're just amazing. They come in all different sizes and colors and in my opinion, they look really nice. Another thing I'd recommend if you can is to sprinkle the hole with, why, why does it sound dirty? 
Sprinkle the hole with bone meal before you put the plant in. This is gonna really help with root development. This is the number one fertilizer that I use. Now you will have to fertilize your plants regularly. Not to get too technical, just get yourself a liquid water soluble 555 organic fertilizer and fertilize your plants like every 10 days or whatever they need. In my opinion, fertilizers are definitely the most complicated aspect of vegetable gardening, but once you get the hang of it, you're good to go. And for starting off, you really just need some kind of basic all-purpose fertilizer. If you are planting in containers, the possibilities are endless. You can put these on the stairs, you can hang these from the ceiling, you can hang them over the balcony, you can bring them inside, you can put them on a window ledge. As long as there's sun, you can grow something. Um, everything grew in so well and it's spring. It's starting to get way too hot. As you can see, my kale is like welting. Basically, a lot of this stuff is cool weather crops that need to go in the shade. Up here, it's super duper sunny. Pretty much all of this is like not meant for this season other than the tomatoes. I'm also struggling like eating everything in time. It's a lot of food. I think I definitely overplanted most of the stuff. So beautiful though. I just love walking out here to all of these greens that can be eaten. The balcony is starting to look crazy though. I'm gonna have to move some of this stuff downstairs because it's too sunny and it's taking up too much space. Like I can I can hardly walk right now. Uh, and it's time to start planting the summer vegetables. If I sound sick, I am. We're planting the summer crops. These gotta go. Uh, I guess I'm gonna be eating kale for like the rest of my life because I got a lot. You will need to know your gardening season, which will tell you when you can plant exactly what. But some of the beginner friendly crops I recommend are herbs like cilantro, parsley. You should not be buying this from the store. It's just way too easy to grow. And you can grow this inside. All the leafy greens like lettuce, spinach, collards, kale, very easy. And they'll last you a lot longer than any store-bought stuff. Radish as I'm harvesting here. I think I grew like four different variations just to test and see which one I liked the most. Radish also happens to be one of the fastest things that you can grow and see results from. I was planning on pickling these, but I ended up getting a little bit lazy and just pretty much ate them all as snacks or on salads. Beans and peas are also very easy, but some of them are vining type, so they'll need some kind of trellis or something to climb up on, but they do have bush versions, which I highly recommend. And last but not least, my absolute favorite, peppers chili peppers. Very easy to grow. They do need hot weather, but they are so easy and take like literally no maintenance. Now, I would also like to recommend crops that aren't so easy just to save you some time. Broccoli, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, bugs love cabbage and bok choy. Zucchini, oh my gosh, it takes up so much space and it is so disease prone. It'd be a miracle if the thing even lasts to the end of the season. Celery, and surprisingly, carrots are very hard to germinate. If you're looking to start a vegetable garden, start with something you actually like. Don't go out there and plant a bunch of stuff that you have never tried or you don't really eat on the regular. I recommend planting something that you eat often and also experimenting a little bit. My first vegetable garden, no lie, I just planted a whole bunch of stuff, did not know any type of background information and just watched stuff grow and watched stuff fail. It was a lot of fun. I mean, you can go in blind like this or you can, you know, try and actually plan things out. Some of my favorite things to grow is obviously number one kale. I love kale. It is so good for you. I eat it in so many different dishes and so many different ways, smoothies, salads, you name it. It's cold hearty. It lasts a long time and it's very filling. I love beets for juicing, spinach for all my pastas and smoothies, green onions. They're just great to put on everything. Cilantro, which is very expensive here and tomatoes. A lot of people are going to tell you tomatoes are a beginner friendly crop, but in my opinion, they really aren't. They're a lot of fun to grow. However, out of everything I've ever grown, this one takes the most maintenance. It needs a lot. Specific soil, fertilizer, constant pruning, a proper trellis, specific watering methods. It's, it's kind of a lot. I mean, it's very rewarding, but it's a lot. There are much easier types that you can get, like a cherry tomato, which are a lot less work. 
I'm so happy I got to share with you guys my gardening journey. This is actually the end of the season and I'm preparing now for the warm weather crops. So a lot of this stuff has to go and I'm planting a lot of new stuff. If there's anything specific that you wanna know or any questions you have, please leave me a comment and I'll be sure to get back to you. If there's anything you guys wanna see in future videos, let me know. If you wanna see updates and recipes, how I use these crops, follow me over on Instagram. I am always posting my gardening journey over there. Leave a comment down below what you are planning on planting and keep me updated. I wanna see.